when you lose cash, and this is what we must not let them do, when we lose cash, if we lose cash, and you've only got central bank digital currencies, the computer will know what it is you're trying to do before you even do it, and they will prevent you from doing it. If, for example, they say, you can't leave your house more than five miles, you try and buy a bottle of water six miles from home, you won't be able to. I'm not kidding. That's those so many reasons why you should retain cash. It's offensive that the politicians uh, uh, believe that they have a right to all of your information at all times. With 5G, in an urban area, they know within a small number of meters where you are. They know if you're on the toilet or in the kitchen. Uh, they, they, if you go online, they know you're online. If you write anything, I can assure you they know what I write. They know my IP address, even with a VPN. I can't, I can't comment on YouTube, Facebook, Twitter. Uh, I am censored and smeared. So I'm, I'm on Substack, Telegram, and places most people have never heard. It's so dangerously effective, the censorship. So bottom line is they will try and take money away and replace it with electronic funny money. Don't let them do it. Keep using cash. Every day you use cash, you're throwing a handful of sand in the eyes of the globalists. Do it. Let's say you want to buy a railway ticket and there are no options for cash. I'm not saying war, okay? But whenever there's an option to use cash, even if it's a little inconvenient, please do it, do it, do it. The reason is, the larger the proportion of transactions that are cash, the more uncertainty there is in the minds of the people who are organizing this. They hate uncertainty. If everyone in the city used only cash for the next two days, effectively the light would go out. They'd have no idea what you're doing and they would hate it. Do you think they'd be ready to close the switch if they have no idea what would happen? The answer is no. So will using cash stop them? I, I don't know. Will it slow them down? Yeah, I think it'll give them things to think about. Don't, there's no legitimate reason for removing cash. So any politician or technocrat that says, oh, well, we'll just do away with cash. Criminal, okay? That person's an oppressive criminal. Do not let them do it. I, I can't, cannot be more forceful. I say to people this, if you follow the narrative, the official story, and I'm right, you'll lose your freedom and probably your life. If you follow what people like me are saying, and I'm wrong, the worst that's happening is you're going to get laughed at. The risks are not faintly symmetrical. Don't believe the government. If you believe them, and I'm right, you'll lose your freedom and your life and your children. So you might be a bit worried about being called a conspiracy theorist. Join at the club. There is a conspiracy, nothing theoretical about it. Thank you.